Thanks, Riaz. Good morning. It's 7 o'clock. A search is expected to continue today for a 24 year old woman who was swept away into the waters at Golden Ears Provincial Park. Greg Harper joins us now from the area where she went missing yesterday afternoon. Greg? Good morning, Jody. Uh, Ridge Meadows Search and Rescue, uh, they started to arrive here about uh, 15 minutes ago. They are right now working on setting up, and then they will resume their search for a 24-year-old woman from Surrey. Uh, the woman was out yesterday with her family uh, when she fell into uh, Gold Creek Falls. A rescue effort led by Ridge Meadows Search and Rescue lasted for hours yesterday. They actually left at 1130 last night. They were unable to locate her. The woman fell into the upper level of the falls, which is extremely aggressive right now. Two young men actually died in Gold Creek Falls last year. So Jody, we right now are, are going to move from this location. It's about 11 kilometer a drive to where uh, Ridge Meadows Search and Rescue are setting up. We will set up there and if anything develops this morning, we will certainly bring that to you. Jody? All right, thanks so much, Greg Harper. We will check in with you in 30 minutes time. Greg Harper reporting live for us from Golden Ears Creek. Uh, some determined thieves have stolen equipment worth more than $10,000 from North Shore Rescue. The equipment was stored in a cache in Haynes Valley. It includes rope, rescue tents, kits, sleeping bags, camping stoves, a chainsaw, and some medical equipment. North Shore Rescue says someone would have to have hiked about three hours to get to the supplies. The society says it doesn't have the funds to immediately replace the gear, which is crucial to rescue efforts. If a deal cannot be reached by Monday, the BC Teachers Federation has told the province it will pick it outside summer school this summer and continue into September. The union believes the threat to extend the nearly two-week-old strike is necessary to push the province into naming a mediator in the dispute. The bargaining agent for the provincial government has applied to the Labour Relations Board to declare remedial summer school an essential service, but no date has been set to hear the application. The BC Public School Employers Association also wants the board to declare education essential for year-round schools and programs in youth jails and health care facilities. And I would then ask the BCTF to look those kids who are vulnerable that they say they care about in the eye and said, we've decided not to allow summer school to put pressure on. And you know what? I've been feeling the pressure. The government has been feeling the pressure throughout this. And the lack of summer school doesn't increase the pressure except on the kids that need that support to move ahead. Summer school is part of, it's our members in the bargaining unit. We know that uh, when there is summer school, it's contained in a certain number of schools in a, in a school district, and it will be those particular schools that will be picked out by, by our members. There's still no sign of the driver involved in Tuesday night's fatal hit and run in Surrey that left a 16-year-old boy dead. Kevin Dillon's mother was understandably distraught attending a candlelight vigil just hours after her son's death. She was among dozens of friends, family and schoolmates mourning the 16-year-old's loss. Kevin was hit and killed while riding a motorcycle late Tuesday night, something that was a passion of his. Uh, a couple days he was out at my house. Uh, and hanging out, talking about cars and his motorcycle. And I didn't think this would happen. He's but. so nice. He's a nice kid. So I have five children, so he always hang out in, my, in our house. Dylan collided with a Honda Accord that was turning left at 96th Avenue and 123A Street. That car was abandoned. The driver ran from the scene. Still in Surrey, a disturbing reminder for parents to keep an eye on their kids. A 32-year-old man was arrested after an attempted abduction of a four-year-old girl at Holland Park on Saturday. The child's father confronted the suspect after he approached the girl on the playground. The suspect took off but was arrested nearby. People in Toronto are now drying out after a very wet and stormy night. The city was drenched by heavy rain and localized flooding. Part of the Don Valley Parkway was closed. Underpasses were submerged and a subway station was briefly shut down because of rising water levels. Firefighters had to rescue a few motorists who were stranded by flooding. The water got as high as their vehicles' doors.